What? So you were saying 10 a piece earlier. Guys, I'm at a yard sale. And look. Oh my God. Guys, got some shoes off the bat. Ooh. These are actually pretty cool. Do you guys have prices on this Pokemon stuff over here? There's one, two. Well, I guess you got a few of them, actually. Yeah, they should. I bought a storage unit. They were all in there. You got a price individually or maybe even a price for all of them? This I mean, is actually kind of cool, too. I bought all six of them. I sell them to you at 10 bucks a pop. How much you got on this Batman one? Bucks. three bucks okay yeah i might do that um we'll come back to these here i'm gonna leave this here for now i'm gonna yeah, look good. around and see and then see what else we got that's kind of cool 2004 <laughs> don't want to deal with <laughs> like I, I don't need this lunchbox although it is really cool um so you were saying 10 a piece earlier would you it's kind of a little bit lower would you consider five a piece if i got all of them i can meet you in the middle at seven seven a piece seven. dang it i'm still like i'm on the fence about this just because it's so cool you said you wanted three for that yes. let's just do what you said so 42 and then we'll add the three we'll just 45 that'll probably just be easier some toys off the bat This is crazy. Yeah, he's definitely missing a bunch of stuff. Though. That's wild. That's kind of cool. Okay, see what we got. Those look sick. Found one thing so far, but oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep looking. Can I set it over here? Yeah. Dang, what we got in here? It's a bunch oh. of. Dive on into this one. Maybe. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you, like, pull it out and then jump it all back in. What um? What kind of prices do you have on everything in here? Fifty cents. Okay. Fifty cents. I'll be. Yeah. Okay, so I can just set things up there. I guess. <laughs> like even the even the box sets everything. You know what I mean? Like, so like. Spent three hours in this bin, I'm sure. <laughs> You've been doing good though, man. Selling a bunch of good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Here, yeah, this is the thing behind me. Yeah. Kind of look through. I mean, honestly, I 
there. Yeah. I feel like you probably got some cool stuff hiding at the bottom. <laughs> anything that we need. Now we got a good bit of this stuff. Hmm, let me get that one. Oh, that, oh, I think I've actually seen one of these before. That's cool. I saw something similar at another yard sale. Not so, something I, I care to collect, but it's still yeah, kind of... So random. Yeah, it's, it's cool to see, though. <laughs> A bunch of PC games down here. and you just find dartboards. Hey. This is potato head. It's kind of fun. Guys, for 50 cents, I could not say no to this. This is Sam from Trick or Treat, one of my favorite Halloween movies. So y'all gotta check this movie out if you've never seen it. This is freaking rad. What do you guys got on the books? Uh, 50 cents on the hardbacks. I mean, on, on the soft books. Okay. I said something about a graphic novel was a dollar. Okay. I'm at a yard sale and look. Oh my god. How much you guys got on the plates? Uh, 50 cents. Okay. You have any other like Nintendo type of stuff by no, chance? No, that's it. This is really cool. I'm, I'm a big Nintendo collector, so I All love right, seeing I stuff like this. Good find, ben. Thank right, you so much. You. Guys. Oh my gosh. 1989. Hey, it's Mario. What? Oh, this is cool. Definitely gonna get that. <laughs> Toilet darts. Frogs. <laughs> I remember this one. 
How much you guys got on the plush in here? Sir? Uh, how much do you guys got on this stuff, the stuffed animals? How many you want? A uh, dollar each? How dollar each. Are you, um, are you maybe, all of them? Yeah, no, no, I don't need all of them. I'll, I'll look through and see. Maybe just get one. We'll see. Okay, okay. Thank you. All right, guys, a little score at the yard sale. Sometimes these are worth a decent amount, so we'll look at them more later. Oops, dropping everything over here. <laughs> definitely get these you said they were a quarter each okay I'll get those and I'm gonna look around I'll put a little pile over there I got another one Dollar over here. Okay. Except some things are marked because they're a little bit more, but okay. Most every, there's negotiable. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Um, I see like the DVDs and the toys. You don't have any old like video game type of stuff, do you? Old Nintendo, nothing like that laying around. Uh, I got you. I have one, and I think it's in that box, but it's um, over here somewhere. Yeah, it's in there. Oh, okay. Um, Maybe down in here. I see a lot of CDs and DVDs and stuff. For some reason, I thought it was in here. Oh, and I may have just discarded it because it was just one. I got gotcha. you. No problem. I'll look through and see if I yeah, find anything. Right ahead. Hmm. Yeah, gonna... You don't know if there's like a console or anything laying around for this or anything at like a controller or anything. Or I'll definitely get you said a dollar for this. I'll definitely give you a buck. You know what? Let me go look. If you don't mind looking, yeah, I'm going to be here for a few I'm minutes at least. So, cool. <laughs> Guys, I didn't record it, but she said there was a video game in here, and the second I stopped recording, she pulled this out, and she said it was a buck. So, that is freaking rad. Let's keep looking. Come on, PS1 games. Now, tons of records. More stuff to learn about. She said she's going to go see if there's any consoles or anything. Oh, look at this. This is kind of cool. Let's see if we can get a... Oh, we're missing pieces, but... It's kind of cool. I don't know. It'd be cool to see like a Mario one or something like this. What is this? Oh, is this like a record player? That's cool. Definitely don't feel like dealing with that, but that is cool to see. All right, cassette tapes. Come on, where's the Nirvana? Where's the Motley Crue? This is kind of cool. Sound design. You found some stuff? But I don't have the cords. Okay, so it's kind of just a gamble. So you got an NES and a PS2. What are you, what are you asking for on that stuff? Dollar. I'll, I'll definitely do that. Are, is this all the same sale or is it different well, sales? Yeah, we're all working together. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. We'll definitely add, we'll yeah. add this stuff to the pile. That's fine. That's cool. Not a problem. Hey, it's sitting in a, it's sitting in a shed. Yeah. And I think that goes with that one. Okay. But I'm uh, not sure. th this go this actually goes for another one, but okay, that's fine. I, don't know, I, 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 I love going through stuff like this. Well, so. there you go. Oh. It's kind of interesting. I got that too. Yeah. How much do you guys got on like the toys and stuff like that here? Okay. 
If it was me, I'd be like giving away dirt. That's probably really pretty much. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bunch of poison type. Oh, really? Like, okay. This it, is all the stuff that I didn't care about like, damp or whatever. I gotcha. From the cool. dew in the morning. Yeah. And I bring the stuff inside whenever I think it, it will ruin it out here. Gotcha. Because, you know. Yeah, no, I understand. I, I love looking for stuff like this, so. This is like my favorite type of stuff to dig through. Yeah, yeah if we can w work out some deals, I might get a bunch of toys off you. So there's oh, part of the awesome. sale is inside too? Oh, yeah, there's oh, okay. toys inside. Well, I'm, I'm, you're I'll... into toys? Okay. Okay. I'll have a look. Yeah, that's that's the stuff I love. Toys, video games, things like that. There's so. video games in here. You got some Playstations in here. Over and... here, there's boxes and boxes of toys. Okay. Too. Oh, I'll definitely have a look at all of it. Yeah. Not got to feel. I'm going to get that. Of course, yeah. I got to hear some prices, There's but... There's some Playstation oh. games. Oh, sure. I'll look More there. Playstation games. Yeah, that's awesome. These are all window games. Okay. Just computer games. How much do you guys got on the, the Playstations themselves? He said he wanted, uh, I can't remember if he said 30. 30, okay. For both? Or was it 30? Let's go. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank and then how about the games are they all just individually priced like a dollar each or something or yeah well he said playstations he wanted three dollars a piece three and a piece. all the other ones are a dollar a piece okay cool yeah i'll have a look so i don't know why he, he thinks the playstations are worth more i guess so, sometimes they can be it just really depends on what it is you know oh, well. right right let's just let's get rid of it not hold on to it <laughs> I just, I love looking at all of it. Transformers so. and all kinds of other crap down in here. Yeah. I'm getting out of here. I'm wanting people to buy. Oh, there's some VHS players over here, too. Okay. I'll have there's a look. Also, a fax machine and yeah. machines and all kinds of crap. What? Transformers? Dang. You guys got everything, don't you? Yeah, it's a lot of stuff for sure. Remember the lady came and hey. You might want to come look at what he just brought up. There's more stuff out there? Cool ones in there. Uh, hey, that's Jurassic Park. That's pretty cool. Yep. Yeah, Christmas stuff, you said? Hey, there you go. A lot of money. You bought a lot of money. Yeah. All them broke up um, paint. Right. He's trying to get all this stuff out of here because he's kind of... Uh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I don't live out. I used to live out here. I used to live in Silver Avenue. I don't... Bought me house for 40 grand. Nice, man. I never kept you. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. 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 Saw this little Scooby Doo lunchbox. Yeah. There's some. Oh, more stuff over there? Yeah. Might have to fill up a lunchbox. I'm going to pass on that stuff. Yeah, I haven't had time to drag out a lot of my vintage stuff on toys yet. Yeah, you got, you got a bunch laying around? I got you, man. I got some, Yeah. I believe it. <laughs> you got all, all sorts of stuff. I oh, think wow. maybe we can settle. What do we got? Mostly like odds and ends in here. Is that, oh, is that 25 or 25 cents? We had 25 bucks on this Oh, okay. I'm going to put that back then. I'm going to put that back then. You know, the yard sale budget's a lot different for me, so. Yeah, <laughs> that is cool, though. Oh, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure it's worth more. Yeah, I think that's why I put 25 on it, because I don't think that's a I gotcha. Yeah, that's a good deal, then. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Somebody reselling, you know? Yeah, my thing is I, I end up wanting to keep, probably how you started, I want to keep most of the stuff I get. Yeah. So it's like a little bit I sell off, but most of it I end up just keeping right. in my room. All right, guys, we spent 10 bucks and we got a bag of cool stuff. We're going to check it out later. Who are you? Ooh, got a good meow. Hello. Got any video games for sale? 
Nope. Okay. See you later. <laughs> Selling a bunch of stuff today. Oh, we're trying. Yeah, yeah, trying to clear it out. <laughs> Every day. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh oh. How much you guys got on the toys in here? Like 50 cents each or something? Yep. Okay. I would have been excited to get that. How much are you asking on this stuff? There's just this little a quarter each. Quarter each? Okay. Yeah. We get these and then I'm going to keep looking just in case. You might find some treasure. Yeah. That's awesome about the G.I. Joe. Somebody probably got a good deal on that yeah. stuff. I'm yeah, always looking for like vintage action figures and that things like right that. right there came off the front of a book right here. See this? You might. Oh, that's cool. It, it's just colored. Yeah. And I started to throw it away and I thought, nope, some collector may come by and want it. I mean... Depends on what you're asking for. I might pick it up a little along with the other stuff. Uh, just a quarter. Okay, so we're at we're at a buck. So yeah. <laughs> that works out. I just didn't want to throw it away. Yeah, I don't I don't know what it goes to goes for, but I see the year on here. It so was, uh, it looks like one of the, I know the collector cases yes, it probably it went was in. The front of the case. That's and really it cool. Oh, it, it says GI Joe. Oh, perfect for GI Joe. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. No, that's really like cool. I said it's supposed to have color to it. Yeah. But um. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, just I, can't throw I am that collector that that came by to pick it up, so that yep. works out. All right, guys, so over here, they had this box sitting right here, and I asked them if I could have it. It's trash, but look. Ta-da! Now, there's no console, but it's just a box. Y'all know we love boxes. <laughs> How sick is that, though? Usually, the chains come with the match with the with earrings. Okay. And then we have the games. Oh, yeah, you got some clean games. Cool to see. I got, I got a couple of these. Hello, how are you? <laughs> got that one. I think I got this one. I, I'm a big collector, so I'm always looking for games, but at this it's point, it's getting harder to find the stuff I want. Yeah, it is, it is. So my husband just, you know, he goes online and he does the price thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guys, we are back at the house and we had a pretty good yard sale day. Everything you're seeing right now is from the same morning. I think we were gone for like three hours, so don't really know where to start. I guess we'll start off over here. This was at one of the sales later on in the day. This lady told us that she just sold a box of G.I. Joe figures to somebody else for $5. I was like, wow, somebody got a great deal. But we were able to pick this up. This is just one of those inserts for one of those toy collector cases. I thought this was pretty cool. It even shows on here. Perfect case for G.I. Joe. So I don't know. Pretty awesome. This is just 25 cents. This is just going to go somewhere on the shelf. Kind of a cool display piece. Guys, this was one of the other yard sales we went to. We got this Toy Story figure. It is on card, which is pretty awesome. I don't know if we're going to keep it on the card or not. Kind of just want to open this thing up. It was only a dollar. Now, if this was in a little bit nicer shape, maybe we'd keep it in the packaging and hang it up somewhere on the wall. It'd be kind of cool, but for a buck, we might open it up. Guys, over here, we do have Kent Brockman from The Simpsons. This was three bucks. It looks like it was a $5 price at some point. They put another sticker on top. I actually got this from my brother. He loves Simpson toys and he has a huge Simpsons collection. So this is actually going to him. So shout outs to you, bro. Hope you enjoy it. Next up, we got this pretty rad Batman lunchbox. I think we got this for two or maybe three bucks. I don't know if this is newer, if this is older, probably newer, maybe. I have no idea, honestly. I just thought this was really sick and this is just going to go in the collection. So now we have a little bit of a Batman collection. I feel like this will go perfectly with that. Guys, next up, we got the homie BJ <laughs> from Barney. I think the first time we picked up one of these, I was with Liz and she recognized this. She was like, hey, I think that's from Barney. And we looked it up a while ago. It actually does have a little bit of value. So seeing it again now, the second time, I kind of knew, hey, this is something good to pick up. Stuff like this is always super easy to ship, super easy 
just the list and everything, nothing crazy there. But yeah, the last one that we sold, I think sold for like 15 bucks. I think we paid a dollar for this. So nothing crazy, but you know, little flips like this definitely adds up and it helps pay for some of the other stuff that we got. Guys, we got these plug and plays. Don't sleep on these. These are always great to pick up. The only thing is sometimes they end up not working, but if you can get them cheap enough, they're usually worth the risk. I don't know what Miss Pac-Man goes for, but I've sold a few of these ranging from like 15 to 25 dollars a piece worst case scenario if you can't sell it and that was your plan to begin with you could probably just cut that little cord right there if you don't plan on using it and it makes a great display piece on your shelf or i guess you could keep the cord too but if it doesn't work you know do you really need that on there probably not but anyways we got miss pac-man i thought that was pretty awesome and i've never seen this one before we have a weenie the poo one it says honey down here on the bottom i don't know it's kind of cool i could see why people really enjoy collecting these they're not for me i think i have like one or two somewhere but i could just see somebody like having an entire shelf of these and i think that's kind of cool so we have this on the back i don't know what this is for is this something about game key what the heck do you insert like a cartridge or something game key i don't know i've never seen that before but hopefully this ends up working i don't know what the value is on this one but i'm gonna imagine maybe at least 10 bucks hopefully more than that <laughs> but once again if not i mean i don't know maybe we'll just start collecting them guys let's talk about this mario hat okay let's not guys we paid a buck for this anything mario related especially for a dollar we're picking it up. Surprisingly, I don't have a Mario hat. So this is awesome. I'm just going to be holding on to that. Maybe I'll just be Mario every year for Halloween. We'll see. Guys, you know we got to talk about this stuff, but let's not talk about it just yet. Let's go over here. We've got Sam from Trick or Treat, 50 cents. I freaking love this movie. I feel like it's kind of an underrated horror movie, although Anytime we go to Spirit Halloween, we start to see a lot of Sam merchandise. So maybe it's definitely more popular than I thought, but a great movie. If you've never seen it, apparently they were working on a sequel, but they've been working on a sequel now for like 10 years. No idea if that's ever going to actually happen, but pretty awesome. Definitely holding on to that. Guys, we got this Pokemon trading card game binder. This is definitely newer-ish, not like super new, but not super old. It says 2014 down there. I don't know. This is kind of cool. We might hold on to this. Maybe, I don't know, maybe organize some cards or maybe if this is worth flipping, we might sell it off. It's not like nostalgic to me. I don't have to have this, but it is kind of cool. So I could understand somebody else wanting it. Guys, let's see what else we got here. Oh, PS4. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, all right. You know what? Let's go ahead and talk about this stuff. This is just like the freaking like what like this type of stuff only happens at yard sales i swear we're there and she's like i got a game around here somewhere i'm like digging through this bin i don't see any games and then she pulls this out and i was like okay <laughs> i was like how much do you want for it and she goes i'll just take a dollar i have no idea if it works and i was like okay i'll take it haven't tested it yet definitely needs to be clean but usually cartridge stuff can definitely get brought back to life so hopefully this ends up working if not hopefully we can clean it and get it to work and if for some reason we can't get it to work well i don't know then i don't know what we would do with a game if we can't get it to work but i'm pretty sure we could bring it back to life the same thing i asked her i was like do you have any of the like do you happen to have the console that it goes with and she goes you know what I've got a couple things inside. Let me go check. She walks out with the freaking fat PS2 and the freaking toaster, <laughs> the NES. She goes, I have no idea if these work. She's like, I think she even said they probably don't work. She's like, I'll take another dollar a piece for these. And I was just like, uh, okay. <laughs> so we paid a dollar a piece for these. Now guys, this part is going to be crazy to y'all. I opened this up, right? And I saw something in here. I don't know what it was. I just saw something blue. I didn't open it up after that. I was like, you know what? Let's save that for everyone. Let's open it up together. But I did see something blue in here. Now I don't think they made a blue NES cartridge. So I have no idea what it is. It could have been a freaking blue piece of cloth for all I know. We're about to find out together. Is there a bonus game in this freaking super beat up, nasty looking NES that we got for a dollar at a yard sale? What is it? What is it? I'm nervous. I'm going to let y'all see first. My eyes are closed. What is it? What is it? What? Do y'all see anything? Oh my gosh. Okay. You know what? So she definitely said something about, she's like, Here's the game. I think that's the console that it goes for. And I was like, oh no, this definitely goes for a Nintendo 64. But that's really funny because that means she thought that the games went in there. And I mean, she's not wrong. Games do go in there. But yo, that is crazy. All right, guys, what game is in here? Can we even get this out? Uh, all right, hold on. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to try something new here. 
Oh my, is it stuck? Dude. <laughs> All right, well, I don't know. I don't know. What if this is just stuck? This is legitimately... <laughs> okay, so it could either be, I think, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, or it might be like a sports game. So right now, we're going to have to hold off on this. I apologize, guys. I don't know how I'm going to get this out. Maybe like, maybe like a little screwdriver or something, kind of wedge it out. But that is funny. That is like really, really funny. So we got the NES with a surprise game. Hopefully, we find out here soon. Then we have a PS2. No idea if this works. No idea if there's a game in here. Um, I'm gonna definitely grab a power cable and hopefully we can power this thing on and it would be amazing if there was something in here Really doubting it. But then again, we got the n64 game in the NES Anything is possible at this point so. <laughs> Guys, we got a few other things over here to talk about we got this game called kingdom of paradise never heard of it never played it So I don't know. It's just the game Nothing crazy, but if a game looks interesting, you know, we don't have to have everything for it. We can just play the game, and if it sucks, we can just trade it off, get rid of it. Next up, we got Shrek Smash and Crash Racing. I feel like we picked this one up on the PS2 at some point, but I don't know. Something about just PSP games I'm always drawn to, so now we've got it on the PSP. Next up, we have the next Tetris. So this was, I think, two or three bucks. The guy had a lot of other stuff, but nothing really that I was after. He did say something about he had a GameCube and he's like, oh, it just sold. And that's just what happens every time you go to a yard sale. It's like, oh, what was that? Boxed Mario RPG, still sealed? Yeah, the last guy got it. Like, okay, <laughs> whatever, it happens. Guys, next up, we got an Xbox 360 game. So we got Amped. And this looks like Amped 3. So anytime we see Xbox or Xbox 360 stuff, like the exclusive to the console type of stuff, I like to pick it up. So Amped 3, it does say only on Xbox 360. So looking forward to checking this one out at some point. Next up, we got this Pokemon Classic Collector's Handbook. I don't know. I just love stuff like this. It's always cool. So this was really cheap. I think we paid a quarter or like 50 cents. No idea. I picked this up on a whim. I've never seen this high school musical handheld. No idea if there's any value to it or anything. I am not a high school musical fan. So if you are, then that's cool. Nothing against it. Just it's not for me, but I just thought this was cool. Just seeing it handheld. So we picked it up. Guys, I think this was the first sale we went to. We scored all of these right here. Oh, you know what? And that lunchbox all came from this first sale. We paid 40 or $45. I can't remember. Uh, we'll just look at these real quick. We have this one. I already opened it up, but there is, oh yeah. So there's Togepi on the inside. That's cool. The little gold collector cards. Those are freaking awesome. So over here, we have a bunch of boxes that have seen better days, but if you look at the inside, well, this one is upside down, I guess. It looks like that Pokeball. Nah, you know what? Let's just, let's just get it out of there. Looks like everything's in there, but I'm kind of wondering what if some of these got mix, mat like mix and match. So it's like, do we open them? Do we bundle them off and sell them? I kind of want to hold on to at least one of these, but it kind of sucks. Like these boxes are really gross. Definitely seen better days. There's like nasty like stains or like mold on them and stuff. So I don't know. We'll see about this, but pretty cool that it looks at least this one is sealed. Uh, oh, yeah, never mind. That one is still sealed. That's cool. Toga, okay, Togepi is. I haven't even like really looked through here. Oh, here we go. This one is open and oh, that is amazing. I have never seen the certificate of authenticity. This is, I think now our second time coming across these. So this is really cool. I've never actually seen the inside of one of these. I guess they have these little stands right here. You can kind of set your card up, which is pretty awesome. Dang, this is really cool. Just seeing that certificate. Sorry guys, getting a little distracted. I always nerd out to the stuff that probably no one else cares about. I'm like, oh yeah, look at this. It's like, eh, all this other stuff, whatever. But look at the authenticity. <laughs> so that's really cool. So Charizard's there and then Mewtwo. So I didn't realize, I didn't like look through all of these. I just saw them, I saw one out and I saw the box. I didn't realize a lot of these were still gonna be sealed inside. So that is freaking rad. Pretty awesome score. Once again, I think 40 or 45 bucks for that stuff. So definitely not bad at all. Guys, this was kind of funny to pick up. This was just sitting in the freaking trash outside this lady's house. And I was like, hey, are you throwing this away? And she was like, yeah. And I go, do you mind if I pick it up? And she kind of looked at me funny and I was like, it's hard to explain, but I collect... <laughs> I collect game boxes and she's just like, oh yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> like she didn't really care after I told her what I wanted it for, but 
This is just sitting out there. It's just the box, so it doesn't have the PS4, no controller, nothing like that. I think there was a manual in here, though, so that's kind of cool. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't even have the PS4 Pro. I just could not leave this behind. I know some of my uh, diehard collectors out there know what I'm talking about. Like, you see this on the side of the road, you just... You just gotta rescue it. You can't just leave it there. So, did we miss anything on the table? We talked about all this. That. Oh my gosh, the my favorite thing that we picked up today was this. You know what's funny? We always used to joke about yard sales, like having nothing but oh, there was just cups and plates. And look at what we got today, guys. We got a cup and we got a freaking plate. But this is not just no ordinary plate. This is the vintage Super Mario Bros from 1989 guys this thing is actually pretty sought after i didn't really realize that this would have a lot of value but we asked them how much they wanted they said 50 cents for the plates we gladly paid them and we moved along of course later i always love looking things up after the fact and the last one i saw on ebay was selling for like 40 or like 50 bucks like something crazy but it's also not that crazy because this is kind of obscure and you guys know older Nintendo stuff is getting harder and harder to come across. So kind of makes sense for the value. This is going straight to the collection. I will never part ways with this. Oh man, I, I, my mouth dropped when I saw it. It was just sitting on those plates. You guys saw the footage. So. Pretty amazing there. And guys, you know what? There's a few other things that we got to show y'all. I'm going to clear a little section here. We're going to go over that stuff right now. All right, everyone. And today was a pretty successful toy hunt as well, which is awesome. I freaking love when you score video games. You get some cool nostalgia. You get some freaking vintage goods. And then to top it off, you also find a bunch of crazy toys. I also forgot that we picked up this game. So we have Casper's Scare School. Spooky Sports Day. I don't know. It's a DS game. It could be horrible it could be fun stuff like this i always love playing just to check it out and if it's not that great boom, we get rid of it guys we're gonna kind of do a quick deep dive on this so we got captain america here we've got marge simpson i thought this was pretty awesome definitely gonna hold on to that one there was another simpsons toy yeah here we go i think i already have this one we got bart there's a few others in the series you line them all up together and they're sitting on the couch um, so this is pretty cool, but we already got this one, so we don't need a second one. This one right here, and he's from Jurassic Park. You see that right there, the JP. So I don't know what year this came out, but it definitely looks like it's older. So I thought that was pretty awesome. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what he is from, but I know I saw the year 1984, Remco. So that's pretty cool, Remco Toys. I'll have to do a little more research on this guy, but anything from the 80s, 90s at this point that's a toy and we find it super cheap, we're just gonna go and pick up. Next up from Dragon Ball Z, pretty freaking rad. We don't have this one yet. Freaking Super Saiyan, let's go. <laughs> uh, next up from Batman. Uh, I forget the name of this vehicle, was it the Tumblr maybe? I don't know. Once again, no year on here, but this is just really cool. This would be amazing for the Batman collection. Speaking of more Batman toys, this one was pretty awesome too. Once again, not exactly sure of the year, but, oh, you know what? There it is right there. I think 1989, maybe. I can't really see that. I'll have to look into that a little bit more. Either way, going to the collection. Guys, we got the Hulk, a little bit of a newer toy, but still cool. We've got Iron Man. We've got, oh, what's his name? Is it Barney? Barney Rubble? I forget, man. Oh, it says, <laughs> it says right there, Barney. Hey, so we got Barney, and then we got bj different barneys but that's okay so yeah vintage too we got 1991 on this pretty rad and guys i think this is goldberg if i'm not mistaken i don't know what his arms are doing hey buddy come over here and give me a ham sandwich like i don't know what this dude is doing but he looks insane right now but pretty awesome <laughs> look his head is bobbling hey. <laughs> next up another batman pretty freaking rad batman haul today which is amazing uh, we got this Sonic, so that's pretty cool. I think one of the newer ones. Yeah, Sonic 2. I don't think we have this, so hey, why not? Cheap toys, let's add it. This, I didn't know what this was from. I had to look on the back. It says, codename Kids Next Door. This was after my time when it comes to like watching cartoons early in the morning. I didn't see this, but I remember hearing about it, so don't know if it's a good show. Y'all let me know below. We got this, guys. Look how cool this is. It's made by Tiger. It's called the EO. Never seen this before. Don't know. Maybe it plays music or makes sounds like, hey, yeah, man, you suck. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's probably what it would say if I was using the yo-yo, but pretty cool. We don't have a yo-yo, surprisingly, in our freaking vintage collection yet. So we got these guys right here. I don't know what they're from. This one looks really familiar, actually. I don't, I don't know. I just, I just kind of grabbed it. It was just there. It was part of the bundle. We just picked it up. Same with this one. 
This is Fisher Price, and I think it was like from the 70s or something, maybe the 80s. So this was just kind of random, picked it up. We've got Wolverine. And it looks like somebody drew some blood on him. So that is okay. Thought that was pretty cool. Next up, we got this little Charmander toy. And in here, there, oh, there's some more stuff. I knew there was something in here. I wasn't sure though. We've got Charmeleon. So that is pretty cool. Charizard. So that's awesome as well. And I think this is Rotom, maybe? I forget. I think he was like the newer one that was like in the Pokedex or something like that. But guys, not too bad of a haul. We didn't spend too much on everything. So that's always amazing when you go to yard sales and you have some good luck. All right, guys, I tried to get the game out. I wedged something in there to try to like pull it out. It's like really stuck. So I think I'm going to have to take apart the entire NES and see if we can get this out. But I'm not going to do that in this video. So if I get this out then i'll definitely let y'all know maybe over on instagram or something but for now drop some comments let me know below what you guys think we should do to get this out should we just take apart the whole thing or do you think maybe there's a better way but this thing is like super wedged in there so kind of funny but i am curious to see what game it is all right guys we got it plugged in and now we're gonna see if there's a bonus game hopefully it works ah uh, <laughs> well we paid a dollar for it so that's, uh, that's what happens. Dang it. Wait. It's like it wants to. All right, guys. <laughs> Very lackluster. Is there a bonus game? What is happening to this thing? Okay. It was kind of just going back and forth for a second. All righty. <laughs> Definitely messed up. But hey, we could probably trade this into the game store or maybe sell it for parts if we can't get this thing fixed. So. There we go. And guys, we almost forgot about this. We have Snake Mountain from He-Man 1983, and we got it for five bucks. It's definitely missing like a lot of stuff, but we couldn't leave this behind for five bucks. So I don't know where this is going yet. We'll have to find a spot. Kind of cool. All right, everyone, that is all I got for you guys today. Kind of a longer video than normal, but I know some of you guys do appreciate the longer videos. It's crazy to think about this was just all from the same yard sale day. I think it was like three hours or something like that where I was gone just one morning and I don't know. It was just a really great day, but I appreciate all of you guys watching. Drop some comments and let me know what your favorite thing was. Guys, until next time, peace. Buddy, come over here and give me a ham sandwich.